Hello? Hey, how you doing? Good. Are you ready, baby? Yeah, I am. My bad. Okay. okay. Is your name is your name Kay Omari? Yes, Kamari. Ka oh, Kamari. Kamari. Kamari, where are you calling me from, love? Uh, Atlanta. From Atlanta. How old are you? I'm 30. 30. What you do for a living? I'm a personal trainer. Personal trainer. You have any children? No. No. Um, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> I'm an Aquarius, so it it's kind of funny. Sign. It's Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, sign. yeah. My sister is gonna trip out that I'm on here right now. Uh, it's Kamari, right? Yeah, Kamari. Don't be offended, but I want to just start off to get clarity. Who yeah. are you looking for tonight? Uh, women. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, but, now, ladies, this, I, I gotta talk to you to deep dive, but you're passing a lot of the aesthetic. Um, requirements. You're attractive. You're in shape. You're 30. You have no kids. Let me get to know you better. What kind of woman are you looking for, Kamari? Well, first, I'm going to throw you for a loop. So I'm a trans man. Um, so that's why I know kids. Um, yeah. Ladies! <laughs> Ladies, I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do for you, women. I, I don't know. I don't know, ladies. Kamari, I would have never knew you was born a woman. Yeah, my, like like I said, my sister, like I said, my sister's going to trip because I said I'm going to try it tonight. I, I just hit it. Aquarius yeah, night. Aquarius. Yeah. A fine-ass trans man. <laughs> I appreciate that. I know a lot. Of, let me tell you, I, 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 I got to get into this conversation. When did you begin your transition? Um, About eight years ago. I want to say it's almost eight years come... March 31st, it'll be eight years. What about the voice? Uh, it just kind of dropped, I guess, along the process. You look good. I would have never known. Thank you. That's, that's the whole point, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, the that's the goal. That's the goal. Okay, so you're looking for women, but right. you, I have a question. You can just say, I'm not going to answer it. Um, have you had surgery everywhere? Um, I, I, honestly, I haven't had surgeries. I'll just be honest, because like I said, you know, I'm on here because I'm looking for a wife. Um, so no, you know, no surgeries, just hard work in the gym. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Fair enough. All right. So Kamari, Atlanta, Aquarius, personal trainer, no kids. But you could have kids if you wanted to. If I mean, you you're a trans man, but. Theoretically, you could get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. It's just not a personal choice for me. Okay. Um, it's I've never wanted to, you know, physically have kids that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kamari, let's do it. What kind of woman are you looking for? Um, hold. I'm sorry. I want to put you on this this stand so you can hear me better. Okay. Um, but the kind of women I'm looking for is someone who's God first. It's always gonna be God first. To someone who knows God, um, someone who is confident within themselves, knows what they want, someone who's not looking to play games, um, someone who's, you know, in their career or, you know, knows what they want and they're going after their goals, uh, someone with a strong head on their shoulders. You know, that's the biggest thing for me right now. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Honestly, the biggest deal breaker for me is, is smoking weed. You know, okay. that's just one of the biggest deal breakers for me. Like I said, after that, it's pretty much, you know, anyone who doesn't, isn't confident within themselves. You know what I mean? I know confidence has to come. It grows over time. Um, but you got to love you. So if you're, if you're in a space where you're not really connected with yourself, then that's probably like a strong deal breaker with me. Okay. Kamari, now again, I know if I met you, I wouldn't know. So how early right. on do you tell a person that you're a trans man? Oh, right off rip. Okay. There's no wasting time because, you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I don't want to waste your time and I don't want my time wasted. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, do you find that women will still be interested in dating you who typically would say they wouldn't date a trans man, but do you find that they are still eager to go through the process? Oh, yeah, like, the majority of women that I've dated, um, they've never been with a trans man or never been with a woman before. 
um and it's never been an issue it's never been a problem pretty much because like i said i'm i'm up front so and, and like I, I said if they if they know what they want or i'm not really a test project type of guy you know don't come testing over here um but you gotta know what you want and if okay. you want a trans man then i'm him okay he's him does she have to look a certain way um not really you know um i'm i'm really athletic so if she can be in the gym at least three times of the week without being asked to uh that's good enough for me okay what about money does she have to make a certain amount of money uh no like i said you know that's not really an issue to me um i'm really looking for personality i'm looking to grow and build with somebody so money's not everything in my opinion uh, can we grow can we build together that's my biggest thing got you now kamari i'm ignorant so I, i'll have a question because i'm just ignorant mm -hmm. to certain things so is your desire a lesbian woman is that the perfect match for you or a straight woman what type of bisexual woman what type of woman i honestly wouldn't say there's any title on it um okay. you know if i'm for you i'm for you you know i don't really necessarily say they have to have a title on them no okay. because i've i've only dated pretty much straight women i think i dated one lesbian and that was in college long before i transitioned um okay. so gotcha. never been an issue now they want me to skip all the damn questions to get right to the kendra can but i did not <laughs> skip my questions i went through the process that i normally go through right but we are now at the kendra can okay so it's time for the kendra can and they they want to see you <laughs> okay Okay. Let me move this chair. And hopefully my dog don't. Kamari, there's no dog. telling. I would have never in life. <laughs> never in life. I, I need to see baby pictures. I don't know if that's not <laughs> true. You said baby pictures? <laughs> yes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> no, no they, you don't gotta tell me. You don't no, it's okay. You don't have to tell. You don't they can go on um my account. They'll see. They'll see. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, Kamari, what was your last relationship? Um, last relationship, this is probably about two and a half years ago. Half years ago. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? That would probably be about a year ago. A year yeah. ago. Okay. Um, Kamari, what are three flaws you have to work on? Mm -hmm. Overthinking is definitely... Uh, a big thing um yeah overthinking is it's, it's probably my biggest one my second one would probably be i guess you don't really think about that often huh yeah that's, that's my, the problem yeah no reflection people right you gotta know your free flaws yeah yeah no um probably time management will be the second one and then Third, can, can you see me? I can. Okay. Yes. Um, my third would probably be self-reflection. Okay. You know, just honestly sitting back and thinking about that a bit more. Okay. So, Kamari, um, what's the age range you would date? Um, like I said, I'm 30, so probably 28 to 32. 28 to 32. 32. Can yeah. the woman have kids? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want kids? I do want kids. I would probably say a two kid max. Um, but yeah, like I do want kids in the future. So, so either adoption. So let me ask you this. Do you want a feminine woman? I prefer a feminine woman, yes. Okay. So if, if you guys had kids, she would be the carrier. Yes. Okay. Um, does she have to be in Atlanta? No. no. So you will relocate or would she have to relocate? Uh, just depend on conversation, getting to know one another, um, what the other is open to. Okay. I'm open to, you know, moving around. Uh, and if they're open to coming to Atlanta, that's cool too. Okay. Kamari, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, Because I'm constantly praying for her. Always. I'm praying for her right now. So I think, you know, that's the, that's the number one reason she'd be lucky to be with me. Oh, you got some women saying, well, maybe I need a trans <laughs> man if you're going to be praying for me now. Let me find out. Um, listen, I, I respect.
I totally appreciate transparency. Right. What I love about my show is it's really enlightening for a lot of people. Like this is an international platform. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that live in certain cities who, you know, have never met a trans person. And it's just like on television is very far away. And I love right. that my show reaches so many different individuals mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it gives people a chance to see. And I have learned from this show, I believe there's dating tribes. Right. And you got to find your dating tribe, right? Um, there's a tribe of people that date trans people, and that's your tribe. So if it's your tribe, I would say you are a top pick. <laughs> I you are a top that. pick. And you have great energy. You really do. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do it. For the woman that's interested, how could she reach out to you? Um, my Instagram is Kamari, K-O-M-A-R-I dot Isaiah. Um, that's my main Instagram. Okay. And there you have it. All right, ladies. Very transparent, very respect, respect. I respect him for being transparent. Um, 30, an Aquarius personal trainer, no kids in the ATL, and just say he is a trans man. So you keep me posted how it goes, boo. Okay, I will. Well, I appreciate you. You're welcome. Bye, baby. Right. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> um, listen, let me tell you something. Some of the finest trans men have been on this damn show, okay? Some of the finest trans men have been on this show, and that's just what it is, child. That's what it is. Um, but he had great energy. He had great energy. All right, let's keep going.